Hey guys, uh, today we're going to attempt to connect a PS3 controller via Bluetooth to a PC as uh, <coughs> requested or asked on one of the comments if that was something we could do and we're going to try it and uh, let's start first with connecting the PS3 controller via, via USB to the PC as you heard it Sounds like it just went there. Let's go to devices and make sure that it's recognized. And we go down. It should be somewhere right here. PlayStation 3 controller. Okay. Now what we need is web this web, uh, web file here, I should say, because the website is GitHub, like always. I'll leave the link on description for this uh, script toolkit, V1.6, whatever that is, and uh, you have to go here, script toolkit setup.exe. I had downloaded it already, but I'm gonna click on it anyway, just uh, so you can see on this video. And this is the file we need, it's 22 megabyte file. Uh, we minimize that, click open, check in for a newer version. Uh, you can click next if you don't have the Visual C++ and C++ and all that. I know I have all these, so I'm not going to re-download them. I'm going to click finish here. Uh, I agree to the license and terms and conditions and all that. Click next. In here, select Script Toolkit Bluetooth Pair Utility. It's because we're attempting to install Bluetooth here. Gamepad analyzer and all that we don't need. We hit install. Click yes when prompted. And uh, it should take a, few, a minute probably in this part. And you should be done with it. Okay. At this point, you will get a million of these whole uh, notifications. Uh, click run driver installer. Before you hit finish, run driver installer. Click yes when prompted, and you are at this screen right here. We want to deselect install Dual DualShock 4 because that goes to kind of Xbox for whatever, PlayStation 4, but we don't need that. Force driver installation. Then you go to choose Bluetooth dongle. We don't have a dongle. I have a built-in Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth driver. I think I just passed it right there. So, I have too many devices, and that's quite obvious right here. It should be Intel. Okay, that's my Bluetooth. And we look for our whew, DualShock 3 controller. I will go from the bottom, PlayStation 3 controller, as you see right here. That's what I'm selecting. And at this point, we hit Install. And uh, this part takes a little bit uh, longer. To install, but just be patient. And right now, we are done. In order for this to work perfectly, you will have to restart the uh, computer because just that's how it works. Okay, we just restarted the PC. The uh, controller is already connected. And uh, yes, the controller software is connected as well. Uh, monitor, let's check what's going on with the controller itself. Right here. And yes, pads, I don't even know what they mean with that pad part actually, but okay. Yes. Let's disconnect it and see if it connects with Bluetooth. Okay. Right now, the uh, DualShock is actually disconnected. And it connects via Bluetooth. Let me show you in cam on camera so you can see better. Okay, guys. Uh, here's the controller that, that I have that I used on previous video. The first light, as you see, is blinking, which is charging the device. And uh, I'm going to show you that it works on this other uh, screen really quick. When we press 
the uh, button, you know, like in every thing that we do on, uh, like when we press on a on, uh, regular controller, you see the controls here. Now let's remove the USB. Let me remove, I'm operating under one hand, so, okay, here we go. And the light came on solid, as if you would do on a PlayStation. Now let's press it. Yes. So it works, and it is connected via Bluetooth. So enjoy your gaming, guys. We solved another problem. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one just before I go. Don't forget, this entire operation has to be with a Bluetooth turned on. Bluetooth turned on. And yes, it works. And we'll see you on the next one. Hit that subscribe. Come on. See ya.